hell y'all doing today? Tuesday, the 9th. I got my flashlight out here because it's, it's getting darker. And, uh, well, I want to make sure I got light because you can see it's a 2000 moon flashlight. So, you know me. Yeah, it's down full as full as it get. But anyway, this morning, a friend of mine came by and she picked up my candles and my extract and my hot sauce that I, I donated to charity well actually it, it's a charitable cause or so she's having an auction and she's she she's picked up all kinds of stuff and she went out and bought t-shirts stuff like that it's it's basically uh, a person that she was friends with that had died a period of, a while back and um they, she's just doing like a fundraiser thing, a charitable thing, I guess, to help with more medical bills and, uh, you know, uh, I guess support for the family type thing. So, and she, she posted this like back in early May, and uh, I told her, I said, I got some stuff I'll donate. I said, just let me know when, you, when I can either drop it off or you can pick it up or I can meet you somewhere. And... Uh, she was in town last week or week and a half and I missed her and she, I saw a post she made on Facebook early this morning said hey I'm, in, I'm, I'm gonna be in E-Town and I will be able to pick up any donations and anything else blah 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 so I was like great I, of course I caught her just in the nick of time she said I'm passing E-Town Walmart she's like yeah. and I told her I said well I'm still at the house I said, uh, where are you going to be at proximity so I can meet you somewhere to, you know, drop this off or, you know, you know something of that nature. And she said, well, I'll tell you what. She goes, just give me your address. And I'll come by and pick it up. I said, great. That's even better. So she came by this morning, early afternoon. And, uh, excuse me. And uh, I gave her the box of candle stuff I made and some extract and hot sauce and everything else. And, uh. She was like, you know, this is great, this is great. And I asked her, I said, is there anything else you want me to put in the box for donation-wise, candle-wise, you know, they'll, they'll help you all out. And she said, she goes, no, she goes, you know, but I showed her a great big-ass box of candles I made. And uh, then I told her, I, of course, I showed her some of the other candles that I've had. And uh, I gave, I gave her, like, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven candles, a bottle of hot sauce, three bottles of extract, and I said, and I said, now this is for you, you know, this is yours, you know, your personal stuff here, and this here is for, you know, the the, the sound, the auction, sound auction, however it is, I can't remember exactly, but anyway, because she originally said that she was going to bid on the stuff that I was going to donate, but she really liked it. And uh, that's why I gave her some of her own personal things. Therefore, she, you know, that way if she did bid on it, you know, so be it. And if she didn't, you know, she still had some stuff of her own personal items to where, you know, she wouldn't have to, you know, bid on what I donated to get bid on. But anyway, um, she had a farm not too far down the road from me. She used to do uh, horse rescue where people around the state or around the states would have horses and they would neglect them whatever she would go and get them to rescue and then uh take them to her place and she'd feed them but you know fix them up everything else and then find homes for them and uh she's a she's a a strong horse advocate uh i've known her for some years uh when I, when her son was like a year about a year old i used to babysit him now he's like 21 22 so, you know, I mean, this will tell you how long I've known her. Um, and we've been friends ever since, you know, and I've never, you know, done anything. You know, I never tried to date her because, you know, well, for one, she was, she was close to my age, but at the same, at the same time, she wasn't. And uh, she was more uh, Western style, giddy up, go, and I was more, um, militia giddy up go so uh, we we just didn't you know we just didn't as, as people say we, we didn't mesh she was here I was here 
but we were good friends. And you know, when she had to go work at night times, I'd babysit for her, and I'd sit down there, and I'd you know watch TV with her son and feed him and give him a bath and everything else. And uh, of course, now when when I say it to him on Facebook, and he, he's like, "Whoa, that's horrible." I'm like, "Well, you know, you, know, you were one years old at the time. Now you're 21, 22." But uh, it's like she is running she has started and uh, getting started in a bed and breakfast and um, I, that's why I gave her some extra stuff for it you know that way she could use it in her bed and breakfast if she wanted to or she could use it you know around the area of the bed and breakfast you know however she, how, however she felt fit um, now she did tell me that she that she loves she loves my candles that I made and she said, uh, eventually, she said, uh, I want to find out what you're going to charge for them. She goes, because I'll pick up a bunch of them and put them in my bed and breakfast. And I'll, she goes, where do they sell for? I'll give you, you know, the, what you're asking for. It, and there you go. And I told her, like, a can, I'm asking five bucks. You know, that's it. And uh, she said, that's fine, you know. She goes, she goes, if I get a bunch of them, I'll take them in my bed and breakfast and I'll sell them for five bucks. And, you know give you the money for it and um, and I told her I said a lot of the candles that I am making I'm gonna eventually get I'm going to, going to take to the Ronnieville farmers market and put up for sale there I said but I will make more I said it's no big deal um, I have like I said I have the I have the Budweiser I have Coors I've got Dr. Pepper Cherry Coke Orange uh, Orange Crush uh, Orange Fanta you know I, I got all kinds you know, because you know because most of those candles like that are citronella because I know you know it's comical it's, you know I, I would I, I wouldn't want to use the word comical but it's something you know like an attention getter you know you got little cans sitting there with a the candle lit you know citronella form and um, it just you know it, it's like it's like a conversation piece but uh, she said also there's a woman across the roadway from her where the bed and breakfast is. She runs like a bakery, pastry kind of place. And she was interested in the vanilla that I made. And uh, so chances are what I'm going to do is I'm going to get me a, a smaller, like a half gallon jug. And I'm going to get some more vanilla bean. And I'm going to make a half gallon jug of it, a pure straight extract. And... Uh, Basically, I'll figure out the price of the beans going to cost me, the price of the alcohol is going to cost me to get, and the price of the jug. Combine it all together, depending on how many, how many beans I put into it, and just price one jug for what it is. And uh, but yeah, I mean, that's how I'm going to do it because she runs a business that's probably going to acquire more than just a single couple little bottles. And I figure if I can make, you know, a large container form of it and it'll do what she needs to do, then, you know, there you go. So be it. Now, part of this video is, is because, uh, well, the reason why there's a big glare right here is because I have my flashlight out here. Because it's just dark outside. And my flashlight is 2,000 looms. So that's why you're still able to see me, even though it's like 9, 9.30 at night. And... Earlier, a friend of mine on Facebook named Dan, he lives down in Jasper, Texas, uh, he was sitting somewhere and took a picture of his Miller High Life, and uh, I just wanted to be a smart ass, so I came outside and I had a picture of my Corona, that's what's left in my bottle. Uh, yes, I do drink Corona beer. Um, this is my second bottle of a six pack that I've had for about two or three weeks um, I do drink beer occasionally uh, I do it mainly because well I drink in very 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 moderation and uh, I don't abuse my alcohol and beer is about the only thing I will drink but it has to be Corona I mean the, if I pay for beer it has to be Corona um, if you show up at my house and had a, a cold 12 pack or whatever and said, hey man, I got a can of beer, bottle of beer, you know, you want a bottle of beer, I would take one, even though I, I don't, I prefer not to. I would take one, 
because, well, as I say, it's the neighborly thing to do. So, um, I'm not big on drinking. I'm not. I do drink beer because, for one thing, beer does flush out your system. And, um, but I don't drink a lot of it. I drink in very, 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 very moderation. I'm, a, I'm what you call a lightweight drunk. So, one beer will do me kind of fuzzy, tipsy, and everything else. So, um, yeah. This is what, you know, that's what I got left out of a 12, out of a 12 ounce bottle. That's what I have left, right there. And that's about, for me, another drink, drink and a half, and I'll be done. Which, hold on. There, because there's one drink. So there's about an ounce, ounce and a half of beer left. Get a little water drop on the bottom. It's nice and cold. Oh, it's nice and cold. Yep. Yeah, and yes. This is not kid material. So, of course, I'm you now starting to, my camera's starting to unfocus. It ain't me. I'm not the one drinking. It's my camera because the light's too bright for it, I guess. Well, I guess since my camera's not focusing right because my camp, my light is so bright. Let me, let me move this around a little bit. There you go. It's starting to get better. Now, well, no, I spoke too soon. Now, ooh, excuse me, beer burp. Now, you can still see me somewhat. Yes, I have a nice red hue to me because I have uh, a red umbrella on my table and I got little lights around it so I guess it's throwing me a red hue like I'm the devil Woo! yeah my camera started mess up again but anyway I'm gonna go ahead and cut it short and y'all have a great day and I will see you again soon now I might make a video tomorrow when it's nicer weather and it's not so dark and my camera's not screwing up um, I do have to get up early Thursday morning and take my wife to the hospital because she's getting a scope done so, I might make a video Thursday, I'm not for sure, but you can bet your sweet ass on Wednesday, I'll make a video. So, y'all have a great night, I'll catch you again soon, and, you know, keep it easy, keep it sleazy, keep your nose clean, your powder dry, and don't name it after me, whatever you do.